Hey Pisces, welcome to your general reading for August. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody, unfortunately. But I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always. So I'm going to pull one of the Akashic... Okay, we're pulling two. It's not up to me. <laughs> I'm just the messenger. So two of the Akashic Tarot deck for the overall energy for Pisces. Um, we have Archangel Michael. And we have the willow. Look at that. Wonderful. So this is the general energy here um, that will be supporting you during August. So I feel like um, if you want extra help, you should pray to Archangel Michael. And I feel like just like the willow tree you may be planting roots or you may have roots with somebody here um you could be um you know giving or receiving um shelter at this time so maybe you're under protection here at this time from archangel michael here or people may come to you here and feel like you know um they want some protection from you it could be family here so you could be having to help out with family more during this time um you know people may be coming to you for love this war here energy here i feel like it's more about the roots here um nurturing this tree or the shelter that the tree gives here so i feel like um people could even be draining you emotionally um even family um, but I feel like people will be coming to you during this time, um, maybe for guidance, support, love, help, um, you know, just in general, people may be coming to you at this time. So if you are feeling a little bit drained, um, ask Archangel Michael here, um, you know, to help you out here. So let's see, now I'll be using the mythical tarot deck here for the main part of the read sorry about the angle of the camera from my usual reads um i have a video out about it okay so they're jumping out they want to get going so we have eight of pentacles seven of pentacles and six of pentacles so oh so you know um i feel first thing i felt was things are going in order um here so you know it could be that with this six of pentacles you was um feeling like maybe somebody was taking too much from you or you was giving too much here and wasn't receiving enough in return you could have tried and even voiced this opinion and got no answer back here this is a closed throat chakra here so you know it could you could have just wanted to tell somebody i'm not receiving enough and you know they went quiet on you here they ghosted you even um it could have been that they was given to two people with the six of pentacles um but i overall i feel like um this was a lesson you had to learn it had to go this way um so there had to be silence here um until your crown chakra at your ascension um you know is unblocked as well here because i feel like until this is unblocked this will remain blocked so they won't you won't have communication still until you know this ascension is complete it had to go this way it had to be in these steps here so this is what we led to the eight of pentacles you had to work on yourself you had to put in the hard work and so did they here so definitely i'm feeling um that you're doing the work so well done you guys if you're doing the work and putting in the effort here into working on yourself and your ascension most of the time people want to work on putting you know they want to work on the romantic side of it and there is quite a spiritual side that needs more work so you need to work on yourself you need they need to work on their self it is part of the journey that you needed to be by yourself and have no communication here i feel like you're dying to hear from them um 
because I'm drawn to her ear. So I feel like the lack of communication was hardest for you, the hardest work for you to do, you know, um, getting on with this Eight of Pentacles. I feel like it was hard working without even communicating with them because then we have to have this blind faith, we have to trust. Um, so yeah, it's understanding that things had to go this way. Maybe now you have the understanding it had to go in these stages. So you're not supposed to just give all of yourself and sacrifice all of yourself here, especially if they, they was given to more than one person. That's why they wasn't able to give you their part, their full energy here. So you had to have this lack of communication um, in order to ascend here, because I felt like they're probably holding back your ascension and you needed this time to work on yourself. Um, it's very um physical things in the 3d matter here so they could have been draining you as well here um because of this six of pentacles so because they was draining you and it was sort of stopping you moving forward in life maybe you couldn't see it at that time um but you know it took this no communication this time alone to you know for you to understand this and work through this so if you're feeling like I said, um, because there'll be different stages with it being a general read. So if you're feeling the lack of no communication, you want to hear from them. Um, pray to Archangel Michael here. OK, he is the angel of marriage as well there. So pray to him when you're feeling, you know, the lack or the no communication from them. So I shut my blinds because the sun came in. I think it's getting a little bit dark now. So if you're working on yourself and you're at that stage, then the next card is the Empress, new beginnings, abundance coming in, reward for the work that you've done. So if you look at her head now, so it's like, you know, get, I feel like saying an ascension badge, but it's not. It's just like an awakening, being very mindful. I was drawn to that after this, um, you know, your ascension being blocked here. Um, so now we can see the abundance coming in for you. It will be um, in regards to money as well. So if you've been working very hard at work, you can see new beginnings or you could be starting a new job or um, something that will lead to a job. So new learning something new here. OK, so um, all this that you went through, um, you know, this what's before the six of pentacles the lack okay so it's like understanding okay i was self-sacrificing too much and maybe you tried to speak to them about it and they went into ghost mode here so this will all like you'll realize that, okay i went through these stages and it's brought me to this new abundant beginning here so i hope you know you're at that stage where you're seeing the positive in it, okay? The positive in the time alone and things like that. Um, maybe you could get pregnant or are pregnant, you know, um, with the Empress here as well, or just maybe a parent in general here. So you had to take care of children during this time, which maybe made it more difficult because my um, sorry, Michael here has um, children around him as well. Also, the card number nine there, and we had six, seven, eight, nine. Nine about learning to be independent on your own, maybe while having to nurture children, lone parents and things like that. Um, <laughs> eight, nine, ten. OK, so um, you see, you'll get to this abundance, you'll get to this um, strong relationship, uh, a relationship built on strong foundations. Again, it could indicate that at this time you had to do more things with your family. Maybe your family needed you more at this time and um, maybe you're not actually with your soulmate at this time and you're quite bored um, with the four of cups here. So. You could be, if you've been going through this journey a while, you could be 
quite bored of um, the separation now. Okay, so the tens are about endings as well. So it was a stable relationship that came to an end here. Um, it could, it could be that this person did something out of boredom as well. It is a general reading. Um, so it could be that this person did something out of boredom and um, it ended the relationship. Um, it could be that the children are always telling you that they're bored, they're bored. Um, it just, I don't know why that just came up, but there's children in this card as well. So the children could be bored too. Um, but... It shows um, positive money energy coming in for you. Um, so don't worry about that. Um, positive job opportunities that would be um, a big change for your family. OK, so maybe an ending to like poverty, something like that. Um, so that's also very good. Just hang on in there. You may be with the Four of Cups not expecting this job offer or what, however this money comes in. It could be um, even inheritance, I hate to say, with the Ten of Pentacles, but it's like um, being able to take care of your family. So we do have elders here as well in this picture. So, you know, um, it could be that elders help you out if you're a single parent as well. Um, so... This Four of Cups is about being careful not to be too much of an introvert and reject all offers here. So maybe somebody's trying to offer help money wise and you don't accept the offer. Um, maybe it's if, you know, your parents want to help or something like that with money. Um, but it's be careful not to reject all offers with that Four of Cups. OK, but it's saying an offer will come that brings abundance here. Two of Cups. OK, so this can be um, an offer from this person you consider your soulmate, um, somebody you have a connection with. Um, I don't think you're with anybody. Um I feel like you're on your own going through this ascension, learning this lesson about giving too much of yourself and being drained by other people emotionally um, while working on yourself and maybe having a family to look after here. So you could be rejecting an offer from a soulmate or a soulmate could be rejecting an offer from you. And that's not to say that all is lost. It's to say it's not the time yet. There's work to be done with the Eight of Pentacles here. So, yeah, here's the offer with the Knight of Cups. So somebody is coming in to offer love. Um, it could be you or them because it is the Knight of Cups. So and it is a Pisces reading. So it could be that they rejected your offer and it sent you into this um, silence mode here. Um, and you're very bored. You're very, um, you could be feeling like, okay, all my energy is around family and friends. And maybe I'm looking for, you know, this love connection instead here. So, you know, you could be discontent with life that, okay, maybe, you know, I've got my kids, I've got my career, I'm working hard, but I'm missing this love offer in my life. And that's maybe what your main focus is on during August that, you know, I'm 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 interested in a love offer now. I want this love offer. So, you know, you could just be working through, you know, the emotions of why an offer coming forward here. Why are I hearing from a certain person? The offer will come. Five of Wands here. So this speaks of um, challenges, hurdles in the way, but not major ones. OK, so Five of Wands is not major hurdles. So this can be there's some there is blockages and things holding you back. I feel like you need to spend this time on your own in order for you to ascend. OK, that was very strong in the first three cards. Um, so, yeah, here's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
so and with tens we know it's the ending and completion here so maybe now it's the time of we have four as well don't we so we have four five six seven eight nine ten and the two of cups so it could be you know the stages that you are going through so at the moment you may feel like you're at a stage of being blocked when all you want is this love offer or this love communication um so you know things could be getting on track in other areas of your life if not i would say that's what the blockage is, is before this love offer comes together it's you know all links together we're missing three so three would be um union the holy trilogy so you know you may be looking and focused on what's missing so like i just said the three the union the coming together so maybe you're not happy you know even at family gatherings or you know in your work because of something's missing here um so that could be the blockage the focus on what's missing rather than the blessings that you have within this ten of pentacles learning to love what you have and gratitude will bring you what's missing okay guys so let's see and let's hope it's the free oh it's justice okay yeah so it's um you know having to repay karma and um having things balanced out so if you feel like maybe your life is unbalanced and like i said it's you know maybe i'll work no play you know or no romance it definitely feels like it's you're missing a romantic offer you're feeling the lack of romance once we get everything else balanced out in our life then comes the heart here can you see it's like you know you've got to understand if you offer a heart somebody needs to offer their heart back not a feather um so yeah here it's not until you be fair to yourself then then you can get you know this repayment but i feel like this is um a karmic lesson you're going through um repaying karmic debt and things like that from a previous life doesn't mean that you're a terrible person um you know once things are more balanced out then what's missing can come in focusing on what's lacking um sort of prolongs it and blocks it okay guys so focus on what you have and um you know be grateful for it count your blessings to see what you look for okay count your blessings and it'll bring in more blessings guys good luck